Um, hey guys, it's X and Shadow. Um, I've got Nairman with me here. Hello. And, well, uh, Pokemon Black and White, need I say anything else? Four days for me until, until I got to see the ending. Uh, wait, today, Thursday. Yeah, me too. So yeah, um, we got it. I got white. I got black. Ryan got black. Yeah, so, um, me, I love the game. It's awesome. Much better than third and fourth gen. Uh, I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, something about this game just clicked with me that didn't really click as much with third gen or fourth gen. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I, I think there was, I mean, yeah, all the changes are purely face value ones. I mean, the game itself is the same as it's always been, but the little changes they made just make it better. They make it way better. Uh, the, 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 the thing I love most is that they made the battles faster, and you can just skip shit by mashing the A button. It makes the flow just go so much quicker. Yeah, uh, the, the animations coupled with like the moving camera just makes it feel different. Oh, it makes it feel a lot livelier. Because if you look from uh, at pictures from Gen 4 and Gen 5, they're using the same graphics engine. But just the way that the camera is settled, it just makes Gen 5 look better. Because if you look at pictures from Gen 3 and Gen 4, they don't really look that different. So I'm, it's, it's, I just have to say it's about time. Again, the animations just make it look a lot more lively and just keep your eyes focused. I was actually playing uh, Platinum a little bit to get my Pokemon ready for uh, getting my Pokemon ready for uh, the transfer, which I need to find another DS to do. <laughs> but I was getting them ready for a transfer, and I was doing some little mock battles just to kind of see, just to try and appear. And my god, after playing Black for a, a, quite a few hours, it, the old gens feel so static. Uh, uh, how long did it take you to beat the game, like, hours-wise? Uh, I want to say 20. Oh, my, uh, 25, though I did a bit of level grinding before the Elite Four. I did a little bit of level grinding too, but this game seems to be adding a few more trainers in each city that you can do, in addition to leveling up trainers a bit more so you get more experience with them. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and I lucky, found like... And Lucky Egg certainly helps. Oh, the Lucky... Yeah, you get it ridiculously early on. So whenever I found myself needing to get someone involved, I'd just give them a lucky egg and spam some wild battles. And it made the entire process a lot easier, so thank god I might get more than one level 100 Pokemon this gen. Yeah, I mean, considering all the extra battles you can do, I mean, you can battle Sharon and Victory Road after you beat the game, you can battle Cynthia every day during when it's spring in-game, you can battle the Game Freak dude every day, you have <laughs> Black City slash the... SS Unova, so it's like there are tons of high-level battles you can do every day. So getting yeah. level, like getting level 100 should be ridiculously easy. I found the game like just getting through to the end credits was also a lot easier than normal. Um, I think part of that has to be with the fact that you get a chance to fully recover your Pokemon all the time, like the nurses and the doctors. Yeah, they're fucking everywhere. I mean, I appreciate it because I don't want to have to walk back, back to the Pokemon Center. Yeah. But I can't help but feel like it makes the game a lot easier. Uh, but, yeah. This game is also uh, a lot less dungeon heavy. Oh, yeah. Uh, phone. The phone. The dreaded Derek. phones. I'm pretty sure someone's around to pick it up. Or maybe not. Uh, Crap. Uh, oh, wait, someone's grabbing it. Never mind. Okay, so... I mean, there, there, uh, are, there are only two cave areas, and the first one wasn't even that big, so... Yeah, um, the Charged Stone Cave, that other cave that you were in for like two seconds, and Victory yeah, I mean, Road. I mean, they're both essentially straight routes, so... Yeah, it's not, it's there, not there, like... There, you, there really aren't any dungeons in this game. It, yeah, it's not like a rock tunnel where you could wander around lost in the dark if you don't have Flash or something like that. There is an area where you kind of need to use Flash, but I looked up a map for it, just I'm like, fuck it, I'm not teaching a Pokemon Flash, I'll just use a map. Oh, that was another thing I was really happy about. Uh, the HMs are, most, are, are mostly arbitrary in this game. You only ever need to use cut once. You yeah, never at any well, point need to use HMs for anything. Mind you, I still taught Pokemon Surf and Strength because those are actually useful. But Yeah, um, gen- well, and Fly, but... Well, fly, uh, I yeah. got paid up early and taught it Fly whenever I needed to fly anywhere. <laughs> That's what I did. But yeah, um... I still think that not being able to delete HM moves easily is crap, but thank God that you're, you're it's... never required to use them, so you don't have to teach them anything. 
and you don't have to waste a slot for HM slaves most of the time. Well, again, the only ones you're ever really going to use are Surf and Ape and Strength, which are actually pretty good, so... Yeah, it's not like you have... It's like... Um, it's, it's, and not I like, mean, it's not like Defog or something. Defog or uh, Rock Climb or rock Waterfall or War Whirlpool. You know, you, waterfall or, is completely optional. Yeah, Waterfall is complete. Well, yeah, there is Waterfall. Um, there there, you, there are some to, Waterfall areas to get items, but you're never required to use it. I think you have to get one of the legendary um, a few, no, Pokemon by using... Oh, you don't? Oh, maybe yeah. it's Surf. Well, okay, I have, one of the legendary Pokemon, but I'm not even going to get it. It's that ground flying type recolor Pokemon. Oh, yeah. I, mean, uh, you, I you haven't... need to have both of them to access him anyway, so it's impossible to get him without trading, so I don't see the point. <laughs> yeah. So, um... Yeah, I haven't done a lot of legendary hunting, but... Yeah, I got all the legendaries I've caught so far, except for the flying-type genie thing, which... It's one of those roaming-type ones, and it's flying-type only in my version, so I don't give a fuck. Yeah, uh, I tried to... Ca I ran into that just, like... Uh, while on the way, while I was doing some stuff, and so I figured I might as well just attack it to get a dent in its HP, so that it would be easier to catch later. I used Ice Beam on it. One uh, shot killed super, it. Yeah, one shot killed it, and I was dumbfounded. So I spent like a half an hour with the game on looking up if there was a chance to get it to respawn, so I didn't have to reset and redo all the level grinding I had just finished. Thankfully, it does. So whatever. If I don't care. Yeah. I caught the but, legendary trio, and by the, uh, I had a fun experience with the rock one in Victory Road. The first two were pretty normal, just paralyzed and threw like 20 Ultra Balls <laughs> at it and caught them, but the third one pissed me off so much. Okay, paralyzed, it got it to within like 2 HP, you could barely tell it was red. First Ultra Ball, wobble, 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 it pauses, breaks open. <laughs> <laughs> and then I spend the next 30 Ultra Balls and not even doing anything. It's like, fuck you. Uh, have you ever had that weird thing that happens where the Pokeball will shake a little bit in the air, wobble once, and then catch it? No. Cause, oh, well, that happened to me twice in a row while I was just catching Pokemon to fill up the Pokedex while doing something. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, I looked it up. I think it's like called Critical Capture, and apparently it works really well, so the uh, hope for that, I guess? I don't know. Well, I caught all three of the, leg the legendary trio, and then, ironically, I caught a uh, Reshiram on my first Ultra Ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also looked that up too. Apparently, Reshiram has a lower uh, catch or higher rate. catch rate than the other ones because apparently the game won't continue until you catch Reshiram or Zekrom or no, whatever. You, you, you can knock it out and it'll go away. You just have to fight Eden without it. But oh yeah, you can, you, can well, him, you can catch him later at Dragon Spiral Tyrol after you beat him. Yeah, well, I didn't bother. I didn't bother using it against Den because screw legendaries. I'm a man, uh, damn it. I did it because I had a mold on my team. Oh, uh, be honest, electric types are pretty useless this gen as far as main story goes. Uh, uh yeah. Well, yeah, true. Uh, uh, I, I only caught a mold because it was flying type, and I needed that type for certain things. Plus, it was yeah. obscenely fast, so I could use uh, uh, thunder. Uh, what uh, thunder wave? for quick paralysis uh, and then use double team like five times oh. in a row so it couldn't hit me. That's what I did for all the legendaries, so... <laughs> I, basically, at that point, I could just throw Ultra Balls at my leisure and it couldn't do anything to hurt me. That's the only reason I yep. had a Mulk on my team. <laughs> so it's like, okay, uh, hmm, Reshiram a legendary with really good stats for Molga that I haven't leveled up at all. Yeah, I think I'll take the legendary. Yeah, uh, my electric type was uh, Electros, which uh, in theory was good because, you know, no weaknesses, high attack stat. But damn it, that thing, if you just as much as tap it, it always seemed to fa faint. Yeah, that's, that's what my Zoroark was for me. It had obscenely good special and... Special attack, regular attack, and speed, but my god, if you got one fighting move on it, it was dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who did you end up using for your team, uh, just in general, besides uh, those two? I got all three starters from a friend. I got, so I have to say I had uh, Embor, Samurai, and Superior. I had Zoroark because I didn't get any of the legendary dogs from the events, so I kind of would have to trade for that regardless, so I decided to, the guy who's given me the starters to give me that as well. Uh, I used Zebstrika for a while, and then I got a Mogo just because a is a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And uh, who was my four? Who was my sixth one? Uh, Victini. Oh, Victini. How was catching Victini? I haven't done that yet. Uh, it was piss easy. 
Well, okay. first, first off, they give you an ultra ball to check the trash cans right outside because they kind of know it has a low catch rate. But I mean, again, it's a freaking okay. new uh, thunder wave. So it's like I walk in, paralyze it, get it low, and it took me like two great balls when I caught it. Oh, okay. Well, then that won't be that big of a problem then. Again, it's again it's level 15, so... Yeah. Well, on my team, I had my starter, which was Oshawott. Uh, then I also had a Chandelier. I already said the broken. Electros. Broken! Chandelier, yeah, pretty broken. Broken! <laughs> I love it so much. Broken! Uh, <laughs> uh, I had a Crocodile, um... Uh, Vanillox, uh, what else? Uh, wait, Samurai, uh, something else. Oh, the, um, uh, what's, uh, d d d I can't remember. Oh, wait, that's a Gigalith, the rock thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that was my team. Yeah, but, yeah. This gen is very ground and rock heavy. Ground, rock heavy, a lot of bugs, a lot of bugs steal ghosts. What, I like the diversity. Nice change of pace. Yeah, but yeah. Um, uh, uh, what do you? Th I don't know. What do? You th what else do you think needs to be said? N is the best Nintendo villain ever. Uh, I really do like N. Um, yes, I don't. He actually think has a character arc. Uh, yeah, N and the rival from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I think, are the only uh, two characters in all of Pokemon that have a character development ever. I mean, why? It's Sharon kind of does, but it's so well, stock and formulaic that I don't care. It's like, oh, must be strong. No way, more to life than that. Congratulations. Good for you. But yeah, I'm... Character, story, complex moral choices, all that. Wow, in a Pokemon game. Who would have thunk? And then we're immediately cut off by N's dad, Gensis, who's... I want to go to the world, <laughs> of course! <laughs> of course! Luckily, they don't... Luckily, he's not the main focus of the game and doesn't show up all that often. Yeah. Uh, but well, I found, team... Th th there's, one thing that, there's one thing that particularly... I laugh at though. At one point, he comments on how Team Galactic and Rocket were always too showy, and that's why they feel <laughs> it's like uh, you're the one going from town to town making giant speeches to everyone. Yeah, I had to laugh at that. Uh, I laughed at that too. Um, yeah, uh, Team Galactic. I still didn't find them threatening, but I definitely found them to be the most interesting of all of the bad guy teams that we've had Team Plasma. so far. Yeah, no, Team Plasma. That's what I meant. Like, I was like, Galactic uh, was just Team Rocket with a different logo. Yeah, that's what I meant. Team Galactic was boring. Uh, Team Aqua and Magma, they at least tried something new, but it didn't really work. And Rocket... Well, uh, so Rocket's always been kind of jokish. Yeah, I don't Team think you were, Rocket... I don't think you were ever supposed to take them seriously. Yeah. But Plasma, you could at least tell that they... Um, you could at least, like... You could sort of... Like, like understand their, uh, yeah, and that, but then they were totally hypocritical. So it was sort of, I don't know. Did you talk to I any like, of the plasma grunts in Ends Castle? Yeah, I, I talked to almost all of them, and it they were was, all like, uh, yeah, they were. I get Team Plasma gave me these Pokemon. And they say we we're supposed to release them, but I kind of grew fond of them. Yeah, it's like, oh, uh, did you go into Ends like bedroom? God, it's that was supposed creepy. It's supposed like, to be. It's supposed to be. It's like you hear the, you hear like theme song remixed in like. He's a, yeah, he's a great late motif. Yeah. Yeah. I also really like the music in this gen in general. Mm -hmm. It was uh, pretty good. It was pretty good. I like, uh, I like Adler's theme. Uh, um, what even other song? Even if Adler was kind of a wimp. Yeah, Adler was kind of a wimp, but uh, yeah. I still haven't uh, fought him as a champion yet. I've Neither. only just beaten well, the game like first. Level, he's only like level 75 and 77. I was like, yeah, I need to level up more for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I, re I liked Adler's theme. Uh, Route 10 was awesome. Uh, so was the Desert Castle. Yeah, Dragon Spiral Tower was really good. Dragon Spiral Tower was really good. Um, uh, as far as battle themes go, I haven't the heard pl all... The Plasma Grunt theme was really good. The Plasma Grunt theme. I loved both of the Wild and Trainer battles, which is odd. Be which is well, I, which it's a change of pace from third and uh, fourth gen, which were kind of forgettable. Rival, uh, rival battles were stupidly catchy, even if I didn't like them all that much. 
the rival battle. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about it that was good, and it's. It, I guess it was fitting, seeing as uh, the battles in this gen weren't really um, supposed to be threatening so much as they were supposed. To, they were kind of just going along for the ride. I'd say. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Hmm. I did like the rivals, if only because N is sort of a rival in of, in and of himself. But Bianca and Sharon had some decent character arcs. Yeah, um, I, I found them forgettable. I found them forgettable too, but anything's better than Barry. God. Yeah, like Gen 4? Gen 4. I, I, forget, oh. I never remembered his goddamn name. Shows how Bear. much of an impact he gave. <laughs> Such it reminds, a yeah, reminds me of a funny comic I read online, though. Of any well, of the uh, other what? rivals. It's N monologuing to Gary Silver and Barry. <laughs> saying, on how, saying on who he's the best rival ever. It's like, besides, I have one thing you guys will never have. And they're kind of like, what's that? A hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I really, really like Gen 5. Uh,. Much better than three and four. Well, Much time, better. Time will tell if it's better than one or two. But. Time will tell. I think it. Uh, I will say that this is the first time I've really liked. I've really felt uh, into a game, Pokemon game since Gen two. But again, it's only been out for like less than a week, so I can't tell if it's better or worse than those two yet. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, any last thoughts or uh, anything? I need to go fight Sylvia. And do yeah. Plus out. Yeah, but okay. Uh, transfer my Pokemon over, then go get that last legendary we can get until the events start coming out. Oh uh, yeah, events start coming out. Woo! I can't wait to get Genesect. I love that name, Genesect. But it looks like a wow. robotic beetle thing with a cannon on top of it. And it's awesome! It's Steel Bug. I just send out my M4 and it's dead. <laughs> but it's awesome! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah. uh, one chat. last thing I want to talk about they finally u they're finally using the 3D appropriately rather than in Gen 4 where it's kind of there but they don't do anything with it yeah uh, uh, going over the first bridge that was cool that w it was that was cool oh yeah the game has this game has a weird obsession with bridges it's like yes uh, Nintendo your system can handle 3D we know we know uh, how much do you want to bet that f the next Gen 5 titles are going to be on the 3DS? You mean the third game? Yeah, the third. Well, the third game, and I assume they're going to make a Ruby the Sapphire remake. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably. I'm probably not going to get it unless it adds a whole ton of stuff, because I don't have yeah. that much time for RPGs anymore. I blew this through this one rather fast. But... Yeah, this is a very fast RPG. Um, But, yeah, uh, I bet you it will. I don't know what they'll do with the 3DS stuff, but I bet it, it'll probably be okay. Yeah. All I can yeah. say is now that you're animating the sprites, Nintendo, and especially considering space limitations on hardware aren't an issue anymore, Gen 6 better be full 3D. Yeah, that was one of the only problems I had, was that re you really couldn't have full 3D. I mean, granted, it's like 600 Pokemon, but still. Yeah, yeah. And between the environments, the human sprites just look really off. Yeah, the human sprites do look really off. Like, uh, the sprite distortion that sometimes makes things even look really blocky. It's kind of like if you go into Microsoft Paint and you try to expand or shrink a, an image. It make it's sort of like that, only not as only not that bad, but still. It, it happens enough to where you really notice it at points. Yeah, it's, it's even though. It was kind of a shame, but just having the camera move every once in a while, it does a lot. It does do a lot. It's one of the problems people have had with Pokemon, is that it's been so static for such a long time. And even though the changes are only skin deep, it's still... It, it's ama amazing what sort of impact that sort of stuff can do. Yeah, the uh, the, the paint was starting to shift. Eh, it's the 4 party band going by. Uh, 4 <laughs> No, it's like... The, the, it's like it, it, what this didn't Pokemon didn't need just a touch up job or a second layer of paint. It needed its whole new wallpaper, and that's kind of what this was. Yeah. But uh, yeah, very good game. Recommend you go get it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm X and Shadow. That's um, Ryan. Yep, it's me. 
Yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later and stuff. Now I gotta go beat Ocarina of Time. I still haven't done that. Where, where are you at? Uh, Ganon's Tower. Oh, uh, you're almost done. Just finish it off. I'm almost done, but then... Make sure to go get your double defense. Double... Wait, you can do that? Did you get the gold gauntlets? Uh, nope. Go I don't the... know where any of it stuff okay, in this Okay, go, in Ganon's Tower, go to, go to the Shadow Temple route first. Get the gold gauntlets, go back outside to where you got Din's Fire next to Hyrule Castle. That's where you get double defense. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to beat that, and then I'll do an impressions on that sometime soon. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.